everyone, welcome to FairyCon. Uh, my name's Linda Ravenscroft and I've been painting fairies and fantasy subjects for the past 27 years. I have visited FairyCon a few times in the past and for those of you who've met me there, i just like to say hi again, you're all great friends, I miss you all so much. Um, we haven't been to FairyCon, I think the last time was 2014 when my husband and I um, visited. Since then, though, such a lot has happened here. Um, we're now living in Glastonbury in Somerset, England, and we bought a beautiful old uh, 1812 Georgian bank, which was completely derelict. And since then, we've um, renovated it, turned it into a fantastic home. It also is now a studio, which is part of it you see here and our gallery and classroom. We have all sorts of wonderful things here. Um, most of the products we have are actually manufactured by myself and the family. Um, it's turned out to be a real family event. So what we're going to do today is take you through the gallery. I'm going to walk you through and just show you what it looks like if you could get the chance to visit us. And then I'm going to share with you some of my latest pieces of art that I've been doing. Uh, my conservation pieces and some of my colouring books and things like that. I hope you enjoy it. It's really great to be here and I hope everybody is staying safe and we'll get through this together. Oh, and I'll show you some of my lockdown pieces as well because I actually found time to get on with some unusual pieces of artwork which I'm not necessarily known for. So I'll see you again soon and we'll go through the, the gallery together. Take care, see you in a minute. Hey everyone, here we are. I'm going to take you for a little walk through my home and um, our gallery. Um, we have a lovely poster on the wall. We change one for each season. We're due to put the winter one up any day now. And here is Huggy, our bear. He's a rescue bear. Um, somebody was throwing him away, so we had to save him. So he's been steam cleaned and he now looks after our open sign outside. So here's our hand washing station to make sure everybody stays safe at the moment. Um, my little mystic garden, garden corner. Um, there we go. And I'll take you through. This is the space as we see it. Here on the left we have some of our mugs. These are all made by my husband John. We uh, have the blank mugs and he prints all of them. We sell pieces from our friends as well. We're very lucky to know some very clever people and um, we have their pieces here too. More of our mugs and the cushions, lampshades are all made here, the clocks, um, our coasters. There's a ray of my beautiful colouring books which I'll introduce you to a bit later. All of these are available on uh, lindaravenscroft.com and we do ship worldwide. Um, so if you are interested, that's where we are. My tarot deck, which I'm very blessed to say is still selling extremely well, even after quite a few years of being published. Uh, my art book. I'll take you around some of our other lovely pieces. Uh, we have my range of clothing, which is very exclusive. We make items to order, but I tend to like people to try the garments on first to make sure that they're ordering the right size, because once they're made, we can't return them. So here we go, some cushions too. Some of our fantastic glass coasters. Those are also printed here. And there's some of my little crazy cat pieces and my fairy gemstones. So take you further around. I'm trying not to wobble too much so I hope this is enjoyable and doesn't make you feel ill. So here we go, some more of my clothing pieces as well. The little puffer jackets are absolutely fabulous so I love those, my favourite. This is the changing room here which isn't very exciting but it used to be the original Georgian vault room and through this door here um, takes you to the original vaults, the new vaults, sorry, um, where the, the bank used to keep the big safes. Uh, I have a selection of art prints, more colouring books. Those are my rubber stamps and my CDs, which are all available for crafters to create their own cards with. And we have some of my art pieces. We have a perfect match, which is one of my crazy cats. 
and a piece from my Vanishing series, which I'll also introduce you to later. This is called Forever Autumn, uh, and it's uh, the Hedgehog, and also the Dragonfly Sunset as well. I'll take you around just the corner here. More fantastic pieces from friends as well. And then we have another of my Vanishing series, which is the Barn Owl. And we'll take you through here. So we'll carry on. This is a lot of my original pieces as well, but I, I do have more in my bag. And this is what I call our magic door. Through there is the classroom, which I will take you into a little bit later. So I'll just walk you around. I haven't got too far to go now. Now there's a very special piece up there at the top, and I hope you can see it. It's called the Unfurling. It's actually my grandson. And he represents the first shoots of spring. He has little roots and he's just growing like all children should. Um, so he's going to be the first unfurling shoot of spring. So he's one of my favourite pieces at the moment. I have the original upstairs. So here's some more pieces done by beautiful friends of ours. Very clever carving here. I'll take you around some more of our lampshades. We're nearly there. You can have a nice browse around here. Some of my art pieces again. Lots of greeting cards for you to choose from. Again, those are available on my website and they're so easy to post. I'll take you through here. One of my bubble jackets and my t-shirts. And some of the pieces in here were handmade by myself. We have my crazy cats and some little sculptures. We have um, sculptures done by friends of ours. Take you through to some more pieces. These are also my own lockdown pieces, some more little sculptures that we've done. I'm at it again, we've done, I've done them, but like I said, it's a family business. And those are my pieces as well. So we're almost there, just quickly round here to the other side of the little garden. This is where all the work happens. That's where John sits and gets on with all the work. And I'll just show you, we also have the Mystic Garden Fragrance, which was made here in Glastonbury by a beautiful company called Fragrant Earth. And it's all natural and it's the most lovely, lovely smell. It was designed by me and Jan Kushnik. So I'll take you round and then, oops, that was me, sorry. <laughs> And then just one of the last pieces, which I'll introduce you to this guy later. It's one of my lockdown pieces, my green man. So we're nearly there now. I hope it hasn't been too boring. I can see John in the background there, ready for work. That's good. So there we go. I'll take you back through and then I'll show you some of the stock closer to when I um, go into the classroom. And I'll introduce you to some of the pieces that we've got. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye. Hi again. Hope you enjoyed the little tour through the gallery. As you could see, a lot of the stuff in the gallery is actually made and produced here by us. So my husband John and Alex, uh, my son-in-law, helped me to actually manufacture and make most of the products, such as the mugs, the lampshades, uh, coasters, purses. The really good thing is that we actually are in control of everything ourselves and we make it exclusively just for us. It's really nice to have licensed products out there, but there's so much stuff being made in China and places like that that it's just really nice to be in control of making your own items um, and offering people something they just can't get anywhere else. So that's one of the fun parts about having your own gallery. Plus you also get to make other crafts and sell those too. So it's a really fantastic place to be if you um, want to create and make your own things. So I'm really very, very lucky. What I want to show you is one or two of the few things that we've, um, we've added to the gallery. I now have um, officially seven colouring books, um, which are absolutely great. I love these. Um, they're manufactured locally for me. You can't get them anywhere else. They're all signed and they are all produced in grayscale, which is exactly the same way as I normally paint my pen and ink pieces. So I'll show you this piece as a sample. Now this is a ballpoint pen drawing, which as you can see was in black and white. 
and then I always add the colour afterwards. Now amazingly ballpoint pen doesn't seem to run um, when you apply watercolour over the top. This one is nowhere near finished yet, there's an awful lot to, to go into this one. It's been a piece I've been working on forever but um, I will get around to finishing it. But that's how my pieces start, so they're more or less in grayscale anyway and then I add um, my colour. So the colouring books are exactly the same um, thing, they're all done in a grayscale but the fabulous thing is they're all done on this really good quality paper. Um, it's a 300 grams in weight so no matter what you colour your images with it will not bleed through and it will not buckle either. Um, you can always treat it like watercolour paper as well if you want to tape it down to a board and use it. Um, whatever you want to do. I'm absolutely thrilled with these and um, they're perfect if you just want to take your mind off things which is what's happening at the moment. So great little books to sit and colour in. And because of the virus this year we haven't been able to do our usual full colour calendar. So what we decided to do instead, something a little bit less complicated, we're going to do a colouring book calendar for 2021. So basically you can colour your month, cheer yourself up by colouring it in any whatever colour you like. Again it's going to be produced on this really wonderful, as you can see here it's almost a card like paper. So you'll end up with your um, monthly grid and then you'll have your image. So it'll be opened up like so. Um, but as I say, they're not quite ready yet, but I think by the time we air this film, it will be ready. It'll be on the website. Um, so you can really just colour your year. And again, because it's done on this paper, it won't spoil your calendar when you flip it over for the next month. So that's our latest thing with the colouring books. I'm also fortunate enough to have some of the crazy cats, which are my fairy and fantasy cats. And they've been produced now on rubber stamps. So these are available on the Create and Craft channel through the Card Hut. And I know you guys also get the Create and Craft channel because um, I did actually do one of the programs when they were launching these. And there was a lot of people saying hi from America, which was really, really fun. And I know that it's aired in Europe as well. So that's the Crazy Cats. And they're there as well so that you can at least use my artwork to make your own artwork, which I think is a really fantastic idea. It's a really good way to share. Um, not everyone can draw as well as me, I'm very lucky. So if I can share some of my artwork with somebody who wants to use it, then there you go. So that's uh, the uh, rubber stamps. I've also been making little dragon eyeballs. And the really good thing is I also got to do some of my um, lockdown sculptures as well. I've also been creating patterns, which I'm really, really pleased with. Um, over here is my Fairy and the Green Man pattern. Now, I'm a huge fan of William Morris and the arts and crafts movement, so um, I like the idea that um, you should make things. I'm a bit of an old-fashioned artist, really, I suppose. So I like to use paint and pens and paper, um, it's just something I really enjoy. I've always done it and I, I couldn't see doing it any other way. Um, so it's always that not knowing whether it's going to work out or not and you can't easily correct it. So uh, old fashioned artist but the fantastic thing is that I can then scan the original watercolour into my, um, my computer and that, by the beauty of technology, allows me to then change the colours and the size so that I can produce all different types of fabrics, different types of colours, and the actual um, ideas are just endless. We're looking at wallpaper, bedding, I'm hoping to paper my own bedroom first and see how it looks and what it, uh, what it hangs like. So this is things to come, and this is all thanks to the lockdown. I've got a moth design, a mushroom design with the shrooms on, and um, we're just looking forward to producing more things with those. So, next thing we have is the lockdown pieces. I'll show you my green man. Now these have been made using pieces of wood, um, builders foam, 
um, tin foil, wire, um, clay, fabric, twigs, all sorts of different things. This one's a little bit copper still, but he is my green man, so I'm going to give him a bit, bit more of a green, a green hue, I think. So um, he's still going to be a, a little work in progress, I think. And the piece at the back over here is my favourite. And she is my, my dryad piece. Again, all mixed media, um, tissue, and you use a hardener and um, it's a paste, that sort of thing, wallpaper, pe not wallpaper, paste. Um, I can't think what it's called, I apologise. But then there's the other piece over here, whoops a daisy, which is done with some, obviously some fake leaves and things like that, bits of citrine. Plaster is the thing I was looking for, sorry. You can mix the plaster and make your own things. And again, this is another mixed media piece. So she's the citrine goddess. So that's her finished. Oops, Daisy. There we go. And then a few little pieces of art for you to look at. Um, my dragonfly dreams. I'm probably quite well known for romantic sort of little fairy things like this. Um, dragonflies are called transformation so uh, this is a beautiful little dream piece this is watercolour with ink and then I have my three ages of woman we have the maiden here the maiden is holding the light which is bringing forward the spring and the new the new year we've got little baby hairs here it's done in pen and ink with watercolour We've got snowdrops, again representing the coming of spring. She's holding her hands up to let the light shine, so hopefully the days will get warmer and longer. So this she's the maiden. And then we have the mother. There we go, the mother, of course, representing the fullness of the year. We have the hares running, playing, ready to have their own babies. We've got the wheat growing in the fields. Abundance and warmth is represented by this piece. And then we have the end of the cycle. We have the crone. And again, she's equally as lovely. She holds her hands down. The light is dimming. The nights are drawing in, the days are shorter. The hares here have their winter coats, they're ready to rest for the winter. But we still have the hope here, we've got the berries from the blackberries, we still have nourishment, and we're just waiting now for the maiden to return. So that's my three ages of woman. Then I have my Lord of the Forest piece. Uh, this one is uh, mixed media with acrylic and ink and pen uh, and um, watercolour. Um, he represents the guardian of the forest, caring for the animals and uh, keeping them safe. So he's a true fae. And then I want to show you some of my, what I call my conservation pieces. And you might think, oh, animals, you know, that's not very fairy, but as far as I'm concerned, if you believe in fairy, you have to believe in Mother Nature and you have to care for the world around us. So that's exactly what these pieces represent for me. They're gentle reminders that these creatures, although we still see them around, they are vanishing. So the idea between these pieces and the ones that you also saw through the gallery is that part of the animal is missing on the painting. It's not completed parts of them are vanishing because the actual creature itself is struggling and vanishing. This is a peregrine falcon which is a grey coloured bird and I call this one fade to grey so it's as if they're fading away. And then we have my Fisher King which is the European otter and again parts of him are missing again we need to look after the waterways and ensure that these creatures are safe. So there's a part of the vanishing series. And then we've used the images also to make um, products. This is my, um, my raven, which I've called Nevermore, which is uh, thanks to Edgar Allan Poe, of course, and his wonderful poem. 
because they, to me it reminds me that never more, maybe that will be the case, that never more will we see the ravens. I've also put it on a dress over there as well. So um, beautiful ravens as well. Then we've made products with them. We've got slate tiles. I have my little hair here, which is called hair today, but gone tomorrow. So these are equally as important as any of my fairy and fantasy art because it's getting message over. And as I say, if you believe in fairy, you believe in the world we live in. So we've got to keep hoping that everything's going to be fine. If we all pull together, it will be. And I would like to say thank you so much for spending some time with me here in England. And I hope I get to see some of you at some stage. And I would like to remind you all to shine brightly, as is my motto. The more of us that shine, the less darkness we have in the world. So blessings and light, and speak soon. Bye.